Hiring coaches isn't always easy. It's always challenging to find great coaches, um, especially ones that um, are wanting to be where they're at. Though Andy Umpton's first head coaching hire at Ankeny wasn't too bad. It was a really easy, easy decision for us with um, his experience, his uh, playing at a high level, both um, as an AHS grad, um, but also playing at Simpson. Marcus Varnum may be the new man leading Ankeny, but he's not new to Ankeny. He was raised there, graduated in 2012, where he set the single season assist record, and he was a four year assistant at Ankeny. I, I try to relate a lot to him, right? Um, I've been there, I've played these teams, um, and, and I've been in the same same situation as they are now. So, so we get that relationship and we get that trust there. It's easy for Varnum to do that. After all, he's right where he wants to be. When the position was opened up again, I was I felt ready and I felt very just excited and appreciative of the fact that, hey, I get to work with these great group of boys now. So it was, it was just elation. At the fact that he gets to make a difference. Yes, we want to compete and yeah, we do want to have a, a successful season, but it's also about just making sure that these guys are growing into successful young men who are who are well-mannered and, and, and respectful. And The wins, though, are coming. An Ankeny team with just one senior on the roster is riding a six-match winning streak. A little low on the experience, but um, but they've, they've grasped it and they've, they're rolling with it. And they, they, they now are getting their feet under them a bit. And so now it's instead of this new scary feeling for them, now they're stepping onto the field and they feel a bit confident and they feel ready to go. A young team led by their young coach. I've been more nervous for games coaching than I have ever as a player. Um, just the, the lack of control. As the team and the coach grow and get their experience together. I'm just super grateful for this, honestly. Every day I get to wake up and I get to go coach these great guys, and I'm, I'm just super thankful. In West Des Moines, Matthew Judy, Local 5 Sports, we are Iowa. The Hawks have been winning games all sorts of ways. Their last two wins actually came down to penalty kicks. They'll look for their seventh straight dub, taking on Urbandale later this week.